Pancho, uh, you're somewhat of a national celebrity down in Ecuador. However, I understand, I've been told here tonight, that there's uh, quite a story behind how you got your start in tennis. How about telling the fans here in Virginia about that? Ed, as a matter of fact, uh, I'll give you my, my life story in, a very, in a very few words. I was born in Ecuador, South America, which uh, for the information of the fans or some people who may not know what it is, is in the west coast of South America, and very nearby the Pacific Ocean. I was born in Guayaquil, Ecuador. There, 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 there is where I began to play tennis back, 20, back about 23 years ago. And uh, at that time, when I began to play, very few people knew anything about tennis because most of the game was played always in a very uh, small club and very expensive club. You had to be rich to play. Since I come from a humble family, I, my father, who happened to be the manager of a club, and I was helping him along to fix the course, and I was a ball boy, and that, um, pick up the racket, and someone gave me a big, big heavy racket, which I held it with two hands. And ever since I've been doing it, that's, that's the way I began my tennis career, and I began to play tennis with two hands, so that is, is why I'm known as the two-handed killer. <coughs> <laughs> well, Pancho, uh, you've had uh, many victories in uh, your 12 years of uh, playing. Um, what do you consider your greatest victory? Well, um, um, let's, let's be honest, don't say 12. I've been playing tennis for about 23 years, and the amateur field I played for about nine, and the professional for seven. I consider my best victory or my greatest thrill in my tennis life by, um, by winning the championship, professional championship, or I shall say the world championship in 1950. I defeated Jack Kramer in five sets and, and in Cleveland, Ohio. And uh, I believe the temperature was at that time, that was played in June, was about 97 degrees. And I defeated him 6-3. And always I was known as the player that couldn't last because I was too small. And therefore, since I played with two hands, I, I waste more energy, you see. But a player who plays with two hands does not have the reach. And that means you, you, have, to have, you have to be in great condition. That means you have to have stamina. And Kramer and Bobby Riggs, Frank Kovacs, and Bach, everyone used to agree that I could never play five sets. And this is the time when I defeated him in five sets, the big King, King Kong Kramer. And he was so surprised and shocked, but I was so happy because it proved my point that it's just a question of uh, training hard and concentration and work to win. Well, Pancho, what do you do now <laughs> on the off-season when you're not on the uh, tour? Well, I live in Beverly Hills, and in Beverly Hills, I mean Westwood, California, which is nearby Beverly Hills. I play with quite a few of the stars, and I have a few exclusive pupils, shall I say, who take good care of me, and I take care of them because I'm improving their tennis, too. Okay.